Most of us have used AI to get answers to our questions. We've chatted with ChatGPT or used tools like it to help us write emails, brainstorm ideas, or fix coding problems. But here's the thing. LLMs like ChatGPT usually need a lot of back and forth. You ask something, it gives an answer, you clarify, it adjusts. A good example is when you ask it to build a web app. Sure, it gives you the code that you're looking for, but most of the time, the code doesn't run perfectly. You have to debug the errors, install the dependencies yourself. It's a process. Or let's say you ask ChatGPT how many subscribers Mr. Beast has. It will give you the answer that you're looking for, but it'll also include other stuff that you don't really need. And that's where AI agents come in. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build your very own AI agent using Mastra AI, an AI framework that is designed to give you the primitives you need to build AI applications. But before we begin, let's first understand what an AI agent is. Unlike regular chat-based AI, AI agents are designed and built to act more independently. They can understand your goals, take a step-by-step -step approach, and even evaluate and improve their very own output. A great example of this is the Cursor Code Editor with Agent Mode. You can ask its AI agent to build an app using a specific framework, and it won't just generate the codes. It'll actually install the dependencies, set up the project, and fix errors as it goes. But the thing is, this is just one of the examples of what AI agents can do. You can build an AI agent that can help you manage your calendars or summarize the meetings that you had. It can be a lot of things. So, what kind of agent are we going to create in this video? Now, just for simplicity's sake, I even spoiled you earlier, we're just going to build an AI agent that can tell us how many subscribers a YouTube channel has. I know it's very simple, but this should give you at least an idea on how to build an agent that works with API. So, let's go back to VS Code and start working. To create a new Mastra AI project, all we need to do is to execute the command npm create Mastra at latest. So let's copy this and go back to VS Code, open a new terminal, and just run the command here. Now, if this is your first time executing this command, it will ask you to install the package create Mastra. And once that's installed, you will need to provide a name for your project. We'll just call this project YouTube agent. Press enter, and that should begin creating the project and installing all the dependencies. And after that, we should be able to make customizations to our project, such as changing the default SRC folder. Now, our goal is to create an AI agent. So we're going to install agents. For the tools, we'll select yes. And for the provider, we'll use OpenAI. That being said, we're going to enter an API key. So let's go back to our browser, open the OpenAI API page, and create a new secret key I will just call this Agent YouTube. Copy the API key, go back to VS Code, and paste the API key here. Press Enter, and for the example, we'll say yes. It's always good to have examples, so you can refer to them later if you need them. For this one, we'll just skip that, and they should start initializing the Mastra project. Once that's done, we can change our current directory to YouTube Agent. Or we can open the project using the code command. Now we can finally start a new terminal, and start our Mastra server. So run npm run dev. This should give us a set of URLs such as the Mastra API, documentation, Swagger UI, and the playground. I'm only interested in the playground. So let's open this URL, and we should have our Mastra playground here. Currently, we only have the weather agent. So the next thing that we're going to do is to create our own agent. So let's go back to VS Code. Inside of the SRC folder, we should have master folder, and inside of that, we have agents folder, and this is where we're going to create our own agent. Create a new file and call this youtube-agent.ts. And in this file, we can just copy whatever we have here in the weather agent. It'll be much easier. So let's copy everything, paste it here. Let me just make this smaller. And we'll make sure that we change the name of the variable to YouTube agent. We'll also change the name of the agent to YouTube agent. And for the instructions, this is where we're going to make customizations. So we can say, you are a helpful assistant that provides accurate YouTube channel information, specifically the subscriber count of a YouTube channel. Your primary function is to help users get the latest number of subscribers of a YouTube channel. And we should have following conditions, such as the user can provide a name or a username, for example, with the at symbol. Always ask for a username if no username is provided. Make sure that the response is also concise. 
We also have here properties like the model, the tools, and the memory. If you want to change the model, you can change it here. And for the tools, we're going to create our own tool later on in this video, but we'll just leave it empty for now. Let's save this, and now we can use this agent inside of the index.ts, and we can just apply it here inside of the agent's property. So, YouTube agent, and that should automatically import that. Save it, and now we can go back to our browser, and we should have the following agent. And now we can test this by entering a message like, who are you? I am a helpful assistant that provides the latest subscriber counts for YouTube channels. Nice. Now let's try if it actually works. So let's try at weekly how. Looks like we're getting an error. Now the reason why we're getting this error is because our agent doesn't have any tools that will allow it to access real-time data from YouTube. So let's create a tool that can perform API requests to the YouTube API. And speaking of YouTube API, make sure that you have a Google Cloud Platform account and you have YouTube Data API version 3 enabled. Make sure that you also have an API key that you can use for this project. So let's go back to VS Code and create a new tool inside of the Tools folder and we'll call this youtube-tool.ts. I already prepared a GitHub repository here that you can use as well. So I'll link that in the description below. I'll copy all this code, go back to VS Code and paste it here. Now, the only thing that we need to make sure that we have is the API key. So we can go back to the browser and open the Google Cloud Console and make sure that we have the API key here. So I'll just go here in the actions and copy the API key. I'll go back to VS Code and open the env file and just create a new variable here, YouTube API underscore key, and paste the API key here. Save it. Go back to YouTube tool.ts and save this file as well. Now, the highlight of this file is the create tool. This is where we're going to define the tool, such as giving it an ID, description, what it does, and then you need to give it an input schema, what kind of data you're passing to in order to make this work, and then the response. So you need to create the output schema as well. And here in the execute, this is where you're going to perform your API calls or whatever you wanna do in this tool. So I have here the following fetch channel data. And now we can go back to YouTube agent.ts and import that tool. So here in the tools, I'm going to use YouTube tool and that should automatically import that tool. We can save this file and go back to the playground. And now notice that we finally have here our agent tool. Now let's try it once again. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to create your very own AI agent. Now feel free to make adjustments to the instructions and tools. Tell your AI agent to give you more than just the subscriber count. Ask your agent to give you the highest viewed video from a channel, or perhaps the oldest video from the channel. This is where you can personalize your AI agent. If you want to learn more about building AI agents, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We have tons of video coming up soon, so make sure to hit that notification bell button so you won't miss our next upload. And if you have any requests or questions, let us know in the comments. Now, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.